What's up guys, Sean here. So I have been so jealous of other YouTubers flying their drones in their backyard because I have somewhat of a drone channel and I've lived in an apartment for the last four years. So I have not been able to fly in my backyard. I got up this morning, took the trash out and saw this beautiful sunrise happening. Um, so I was like, oh, I'm gonna get my drone, I'm gonna fly in my backyard. Um, I went to grab the Peridonafi and started to build out a flight plan just so that I could get a quick kind of fly around. I wanted to hit some some certain points in my neighborhood and I wanted just to, it to automatically do that without worrying about anything. But guess what happened guys? My house is so new that it's not even on the map yet. So if you look at my house on a map, it's just a, a patch of woods. So that was my complication this morning and I'm going to kind of walk you guys through how I tested the flight path um, and I kind of build a flight path as I go. So let's get into it guys. Alright guys, so with the Peridonafi and the flight plan, um, I'll show you a picture of of kind of what my neighborhood looks like on a map. Okay guys, so as you can see in this map, um, there's nothing but trees. There's, um, you know, you can see kind of where the older part of the neighborhood, like where the neighborhood they built last year um, is on the map, but where my road is and where my house is, um, it's completely missing. There's just a big patch of woods. So first complication is to find my starting point. So what I did was I put my drone out in the middle of my backyard so that there's enough room on the left and the right and the forward and back to give it enough clearance to, to fly up. Um, once I found that spot, um, I marked that on the map. Um, but before you, before you build a flight plan, you kind of need to know how tall the trees are. So the first thing I did um, after finding where I was on the map is I just launched my drone and went straight up until I could see over the trees okay and what that does is it lets me know how tall my trees are in the backyard so um, I flew I didn't record my screen but I flew up to about 69 feet and 69 feet is where the top of the tallest tree in my backyard is and looking forward it kind of looks like I can see over the horizon for miles so I decided to fly up to a hundred feet and do my entire flight plan from a hundred feet and you know there, there's a risk to this guys because in Nashville there's a lot of hills um, so I could possibly you know fly into a tree um, I watched the flight plan that I flew the entire time making sure that if I needed to stop it before it hit a tree I could um, but yeah so I flew it up and flew it back down just so that I could see the distance um, with that measurement in mind um, I decided to you know I decided to pick a hundred feet up in the air so here's the first flight plan and basically all I did was fly from I wanted to fly a triangle so I flew I kind of looked in the direction that the condos were and I knew if I flew 100 feet up in the air and I flew straight that way I wasn't going to hit anything and then I flew over to this other point and then back so that was just my and then I, I closed the loop on flight plan so basically it flew back to the exact same spot that it took off from okay and that's not terribly important but I like um, you know I like consistency um, so that's why I closed the loop so here's the first flight with the very conservative triangle I'm not afraid to 
All right, guys, so now that you saw that flight, that was pretty cool. It's a pretty cool flight. I got some good shots of the condos, got some good shots of my backyard, kind of went over the woods a little bit. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add another point. And I want to get a little bolder and fly over the woods a little bit and then come in. So I'm going to add this point to the map and we're going to kind of fly over to the woods and then kind of come into the side of the condos and then fly back to my house. So check this video out. guys so now here is the final shot this shot is of me taking the point that I added and moving it out considerably more um, because I noticed in that last flight that there was one part of the flight where it's complete wood so you kind of didn't know where you were so I thought it'd be a cool shot to just start out flying over the woods and then coming you know, kind of a reveal of the condos um, from behind. So this is the this is the final path. Um, so I hope you enjoy. Yeah.
All right, guys, that's it. That's me flying flight plan, um, trying to figure out flight plan whenever there's no map data, okay? Um, another thing that you can do is you can actually go walk to different points while you're building the flight plan, and then you'll know for sure where those points are on the map. Um, so that's pretty cool. But I figured since I flew 100 feet up in the air, then I could kind of eyeball where the drone was going to fly. So yeah, hope you guys like this video. Please like, subscribe to my channel, click on the bell for notifications. I want to put more videos out about the Peridonafi or other drones or action cameras or, you know, just to look at me from time to time. But hope you guys have a wonderful day. Peace out, guys.